Well, the relationship between sports and life comes together for the first Houston International Sports Film Festival. The inaugural event kicks off today. Joining us this morning to talk about it is Josh Merwin, the founder of the festival. Morning, Josh. Thanks for being with us. Morning, Dave. How are you doing? Doing great. Congratulations on getting this all Thank started. You. Uh, what led you to do this, to get this started up? Yeah, I mean, this has got now it's been like probably a 12 to 14 year journey. Um, I about so I have a film on um, Carson Kiner, who's a former UT baseball player. He won the College World Series, was on the team that won in 2005, um, got drafted by the Reds in 2006 and was going to sign with them. And his doctor said, don't sign me to have a kidney transplant. Um, so this started off as this project started off as just a simple photo essay. Um, met his family, said, I just want to document your story. Um, and they said, yes. Yeah. So after about two weeks, it, it transitioned from a photo essay into a, a film. Um, and Carson's dad, Ron Kiner, was going to be the kidney donor. Um, he had played pro ball when he was younger, and they come from a very rich tradition of baseball, especially in Texas. Um, and, you know, just documented a story. He had the transplant at Texas Children's Hospital, um, had a press conference two weeks after that and said, you know, hey, I can't can't sign with the Reds. I've got to get healthy and then play my senior year at Texas. Um, the Reds surprised everybody three weeks later and said, hey, we still want to sign you. Um, so, it, you know, it was a seven, probably seven year journey of while he was playing. Um, he got all the way up to double A um, and got released. And, you know, I, I waited on trying to fill in the last part of the story because we wanted an uplifting story that made a big impact for Oregon donor awareness. Um, and Carson had a, a son pretty quickly after he stopped playing. Um, and I was lucky enough to be in, in Texas with him at the time of his son's first baseball game. So I shot off his son's games like I shot off his games. And it's amazing what <laughs> 30 minutes of footage can do for storytelling in a film. I mean, it, it really just made the, the film, it gave it more impact. It, it brought this human interest into it. Um, you know, so that was, that's how this got started. And then, you know, trying to get my film out there in the world um, and really trying to find events to, to get it, you know, to get out there and maybe do something with like Major League Baseball to game with the Reds and, and, and the Mets in New York or something like that. And, and you know, realized there wasn't a major sports film festival um, in the U.S. And so, so that put a little light in my head. I was like, what if we start one? Uh, little did I know that we'd be navigating through COVID and, you know, <laughs> but we made it, we're here. And, you know, I, I know how important it is to have this um, because I know I need an outlet for my sports film. Um, and, and now we've got, you know, 20 to 30 films that we're featuring um, both in person in Houston um, and then virtually as well. So, I mean, that's the, the beauty of, of what's happened with film festivals that are going online. So, I mean, we're going to be open up worldwide. Um, you know, so I'm excited to share it with everybody and share these stories, most importantly. It's so cool how this has grown out of your career. It's still photography to telling this story, to wanting to be a conduit to tell other people's stories. And I think it's a really good point. We've talked about uh, the festivals and things that have changed so much in the last year with COVID. When you talk about music or other things, it's, it's frankly just been so much worse. But film yeah. festivals, I think that it's on to something that you can get your movies out to so many more people if they want to pay to access a film festival and just watch films and documentaries from wherever they might be, regardless of where the festival is being held. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, in this, well, we're starting this festival in Houston, you know, we do plan to have screens throughout the year, um, traveling to Austin and San Antonio and, and Waco and Lubbock. And, you know, we really want to get the Texas film community involved in this, um, while at the same time, you know, bringing more film production to Houston as well. well um, and, and then also teaching storytelling to kids. Um, I think that's, I've got four-year-old twins. Um, and I think that's been the biggest change for me. Uh, you know, I mean, there was always a sense of mentality about the films, but it, it's like, you know, how do we how do we tell these stories and, and then teach kids how to tell stories, especially from impoverished communities? Because, you know, everybody's got a phone and you're on social media. And if you can teach these kids how to tell their own stories, then they can post stuff that actually makes a difference um, in their lives and other people's lives. Um, you know, and it's 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 been pretty incredible the amount of films that got submitted and, and just the subject matter and how they, they all fit together. Um, so when I first started thinking about this, you know, it's like first year film festival, who knows how many submissions you're going to get, right? Um, so I was looking at historical athlete activists um, and films on like Muhammad Ali, Althea Gibson. Um, and then so we're, we're screening, we're starting off on Friday night with a film on George Foreman on his incredible life story. Um, and then we will, uh, um, we're getting music involved too with a film called Soul Power, which was on the music festival that accompanied the Rumble in the Jungle in Zaire. Um, and, and, you know, with racial quality programming and, and education, we've been able to, it just kind of happened that I was already thinking about doing these athlete act activist films. Um, and that kind of allows us to kind of really support racial equality um, right now and what's going on in the world. Wonderful. Um, 
Yeah, and then, you know, I, I know that we've got one film called Outrage that's on racism and sexism and soccer, and Megan Rapinoe's in it, so she'll be in Houston the weekend after the film festival, and she's coming to Austin um, with the national team June 16th, yeah. so people can check it out before she gets there. Very cool. we got to leave it there at the Houston International yeah. Sports Film Festival. Josh Merwin, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck with the festival and your film and beyond. We appreciate the time. Thank you.